they so yeah, what is up guys, OC got here with a new tutorial on how to do pan crop. A lots of lots of people have been asking me in the description in the comments on my videos to go and come up with a tutorial. Any tutorial, but mostly people have been asking me about pan crop. Well um I can I've been editing a filler. Uh I edited a filler which I'll be showing you right now. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so that's the filler, so let's just get on with the tutorial. No. Alright, there we go. Um, let's just go and get a random clip, I don't know. Shit, that's not it. Um, let's just get an MW, Modern Warfare 2 clip. MW2. Not that. Okay, once you have your clip, uh, I have right here a regular, a uh, random one. Um, I'm not gonna put the song because I think it's just a waste of, waste of time. So let's just go and get straight to the straight to the pan crop tutorial. Okay, let's just go to the first shot, which is uh, right, right there. Let's go and divide, divide it, and um, what I do, uh, let's just make this a bit smaller. Like that, and like that. So what I do is, um, first of all, like always, I disable resample, or else it, it looks later bad. Later it looks just bad. So let's just do it like that. And I might have edit the whole. I might edit the whole entire clip, just real quick. It's not that hard. I can't pan crop. So what I do, I usually to start off an edit, I just go like this. I zoom it in, I go to the side, tilt it to the side like that, I go like that, right there, I tilt it like that, and if there's some beat, like if there's a beat in the middle of the song, let's just say right there, I go back three spaces, um, I click the key, I c click this button, like the plus button, and that'll add a keyframe, and then you go three in front, and then you just push it like in front, and it'll just give you this movement. See like that, and later we can add some velocity. I already have a tutorial on that. So there. Uh, let's put the like that. Let's go ahead and go like that. There it looks. See that? That looks that looks good. So let's just go on to the next shot. Oh yeah, let's add the Barrett shot. Totally forgot about that. All right, let's just go to hit markers and let's just add the shot right there. So just split it. And there we go. Okay, that's good. And let's just go right there, for example. Let's add another shot. No, what? That's my sister. What the fuck? There we go. Okay. Let's just go back like that. Let's add some more velocity. And now here comes the the pan crop part, which you got, which you guys have been waiting for in this tutorial. In a second. All right. That was good. So I just put, push it in front, and I usually tilt it to the side. But the other way, like in this part, it's tilted the, to that side. Well, I'm gonna tilt it the other way, like like that. And then usually what I do is just I go to the end of the clip and I add it like that again. 
and then I go to the front of the clip, I go two spaces, this is more like doing twitch, I do uh, go two spaces, I go another two spaces, tilt it to go up a little bit, just hardly anything, and then I go another two spaces, and then I go to this, to the top right corner, a little bit right there, and yeah. Okay, it looks better. And usually what I add is um levels. This always helps out. And right there. See Alex that looks good, I think. So yeah. And usually when I transition to a cinematic or something like that. I usually just like cut the clip wherever the the beat is. Let's just say right there. Let's go and get a random cinematic. I don't have no idea. I'm just going to search for cinematic. Uh, cinematic. Oh, not that. I have no idea for just just a random cinematic. Usually, in, when I cut to a cinematic, real quick. Um, basically, uh, I'm just going to disable the resample. Okay. What I do is usually, first of all, yeah, let's just do the tip cram crop and then later I'll do the velocity. So, I just go like this, you know, do the ran just do the regular thing that I did basically over here where I edited that first shot. Um, just do the same thing. And then, this is the difference. At the end of the clip, I go to the at the end, and I go three spaces behind. I go three key, key frames behind, actually, and then I do the same thing right there. You know, go like that, and then I go three spaces in front, three key frames in front again, and then I go all the way in like that. And yeah, and then I add the twitch, the two. I move two spaces and go there. Yeah. Well, I think let's just go and get one rid of one of those. See, now it looks better. Uh, wait, that doesn't look good. Um, let's go and fix that a little bit. You gotta try. You gotta try making it look good by, on your own. And yeah, and we'll probably have some levels right there. And we'll probably add the, the velocity sinking. velocity all right okay there we go perfect and then right there it comes with cinematic and then you go to your next clip and there's like that so yeah that's it for this tutorial like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, see you on my next tutorial.